What's come out of it is a, is a greater engagement uh, between government, labor and business because government was there in full force, labor was there um, as well, uh, and business was there obviously in large numbers. Uh, and I think that there is a, a sense coming out of the Johannesburg and Darba that it's not business as usual, um, that all three parties need to engage together more effectively to turn around the mining industry and perceptions globally around the South African mining industry uh, in, in a more effective and a substantial manner. And I think one of the good things that came out of the Indaba was the fact that there was a pretty open and honest dialogue about the problems that, that are besetting the industry. I mean, you had a situation where Valley Musa, um, who in addition to being a former ANC cabinet minister is now the chairman of Anglo Platinum has basically said, you know, we failed uh, our workers. And the, 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 the reflection of that failure is the five month platinum sector strike. And he was very honest about that. And I think that was very compelling. Then you had Steve Perry, uh, who's the CEO of Royal Buffalo Platinum, talking very frankly about the issues of corruption in South Africa and saying something needs to be done about it, both at a national level and a provincial level and a local level. And it's all very well, he said, talking about it. That's government talking about it. What is government actually doing about it? So you had those sorts of uh, interactions and Gwedi Montashi, Secretary General of the ANC, um, in his very typically frank style, uh, talking about the mining industry and how, how to create a better industry. Uh, and Franz Baleni um, talking about the issues the National Union of Mine Workers have had with AMCU. Uh, one, you know, the only, the only wrinkle on the, um, on, on the uh, meeting was the fact that AMCU, although AMCU I think had some people there, they weren't very vociferous. Uh, and I think they need to have a greater platform at next year's Indaba.